it is a done deal. Iowa has inked 17 guys, uh, which is a big deal. Uh, recruiting is hard. Um, you know, you're trying to convince a bunch of, you know, 17, 18 year olds to go to your institution. It is difficult. I wanted to just give some final thoughts. This is going to be a 10 minute maximum video. Uh, some, some thoughts about Iowa in general after this recruiting class has been signed and just some thoughts after today. Okay. Number one, uh, Iowa started off okay. As I said in the video I already made this morning, uh, and then kind of with COVID or excuse me, COOF going on kind of went, I wouldn't say went down, but they were stagnant. I mean, they really were. And they swung and missed on a few guys, not, in particular, three in-state guys all to Iowa State. Things did not look good. They did not look good at all. And, you know, you fast forward to the Penn State game, and, you know, Xavier Wanpa is, much, you know, considering your school much closer, and, and you're about to land uh, a four-star running back out of the state of Ohio – you know, and then you fast forward to today and it's even better. Um, Iowa stayed the course. They were patient. Um, in my opinion, this class is in large part, if not entirely, because of the 10 win season Iowa put together in 2021 and the atmosphere slash culture, because you can look before this season and look at the momentum Iowa had and then look towards the end, and it's just night and day. That is how important the Iowa atmosphere and culture is. That is how important winning is. So this is a big deal, and... You know, Iowa actually landed 18 guys. Uh, one of them is considered technically a walk-on, uh, but he's pretty much a scholarship guy, the kicker, Drew Stevens. So it's pretty much 18, but for, I don't know, clarity's sake, it's 17, okay? And on top of that, Iowa has an excellent walk-on class, which they also have. The main thing that I just want to point out here is just how big of a deal it was that Iowa finished strong. Uh, and I think you can look at how Iowa recruited in 2020, 2021, and now 2022 and say, we are going to be dominating. I mean, it, you look at what Iowa has done with classes that were ranked 40 or 50, and you look at back-to-back -back top 25 classes, the, the expectations for Iowa should be through the roof. Back-to-back -back top 25 classes. I said that Iowa would finish top 35. I was even wrong about that. According to Rivals, Iowa has the 24th best recruiting class. It's funny. There was an Iowa State tweet basically making the point that Iowa State was surging past Iowa and Iowa State was now at the level of the Iowa Hawkeyes. And I remember I commented and said, this just isn't totally accurate. By the way, Literally, like hundreds of Iowa State fans ended up attacking me. But, you know, no matter, no big deal. Doesn't really matter. I can take it. But my comment rings true, especially now. I said, at the time, I said, Iowa will beat Iowa State. Iowa will have a better season than Iowa State, even in a year where Iowa State's expectations were through the roofs. And Iowa will end up having a better recruiting class than the uh, Iowa State Cyclones. I have to go back and find 
that tweet, uh, like I said, I got ripped apart by Iowa State fans, but it's it's absolutely accurate. <coughs> Iowa ended up with the 24th ranked class, and it just is very, very impressive. I'm not sure where I left off, but regardless of how you slice it, I had to go get some water real quick. Regardless of how you slice it, it is very impressive that Iowa has landed back-to-back top 25 classes. I don't know if, you know, by the time the second signing, the, the second signing day is over, if Iowa will still have a top 25 class, but I do expect it to be top 30. I mean, the signing classes for the most part for each school are what they are uh, after this signing period. I don't really expect them to change a whole lot between now and the last signing period uh, in uh, for the 2022 recruiting class. So I, I've seen some comments from people saying recruiting rankings don't matter. Okay. No, they don't. Okay. They, they don't, the, the rankings themselves don't matter. But where it does matter is, one, in general, recruiting, okay, that matters. And two, schools like Iowa and Wisconsin are rare in the fact that they can take uh, lower-ranked recruiting classes and absolutely outperform the team recruiting rank each and every year. Most schools... How, where they are ranked as far as the team recruiting ranking goes, that's pretty much the record that the team has. Okay. The meaning the top 10 recruiting classes usually are the top 10 programs in the country. And I've always said that it would be very, very interesting to see what a school like Iowa could do with a top 25 class. If they can do X, Y, and Z with the top 40 class or top 50 class. Think what they can do with the top 25 class. This is very impressive. Back-to-back years with top uh, 25 recruiting classes. I'll show you guys 2021. And not only that, but Iowa is in excellent position when it comes to the 2023 and 2024 recruiting classes. They have three commits in the 2023 recruiting classes, and they have two commits in the 2024 recruiting class. Iowa is well, well, well positioned here moving forward. Let's even go back to 2020, 2020. Let's go back to that. Now, of course, Iowa has already lost a few guys from that 2020 class, but let's even go back to that. Because this is what the roster is going to be next year. It's going to be made up of 2020, 2021, and 2022, guys. Um, Team recruiting rank, 35. Troy Taylor, still on the team. Deontay Craig, still on the team. Luke Lachey, still on the team. Deontay Vines, I don't know if he will be back. I I think he will because, quite frankly, Iowa is kind of thin at wide receiver. Um, they they feel Iowa feels good with guys like Brody Brecht, Arlen Bruce, um, uh, Keegan Johnson, and it's possible Charlie Jones comes back. But after that, there's some room, especially in the return game, things like that. So I think it's definitely possible that he decides to come back since the room is so thin. Reggie Bracey still on the team, Jay Higgins. I'm just going to name the guys who are gone. Uh, Kayvon Matthews is gone. I think AJ Lawson is also gone. Um, I think he transferred. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gone. Okay. Don't know for sure, but, but fairly certain he's transferred. So that's two guys. Um, uh, Three guys, Deuce Hogan, uh, Kayvon Matthews, and uh, 
uh, AJ Lawson. Um, so that's the 2020 class. Here is 2021. Let's move up here. So this is a big deal, guys. Iowa finished strong. Of the guys who came and visited, uh, only one of them did not choose the Iowa Hawkeyes. And I tried to research why uh, K. Ron Crawford chose Arkansas State. My guess is that Iowa was told from Brian Allen, the other D lineman, that he was going to pick the Iowa Hawkeyes. And the Iowa Hawkeyes said, we don't really have room uh, to give you a full scholarship anymore. That it's, you know, since we found out that he's going to choose us, that is that. Um, that's my guess. I don't have confirmation on that. And maybe he really did just choose Arkansas State and Iowa just didn't do enough to secure him. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to do some research to see that. Here's the 2022 class. Very strong. Let's count how many four stars Iowa has landed in the past two years. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Let's go to 2022. Seven, eight, nine, niner, 10. 11, 11 guys in the past two years. It is way, way, way better than Iowa has done in the past. Let's see. I'm going to click on. Um, K Ron's thing, and let's see if there's an article on. Huh? It doesn't look as though he's chosen any school yet. Let's look this up. I can't, I can't find it. By the way, if, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button uh, because subscribing makes you feel good. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe, at the very least, like, comment. Uh, you know the drill. And be sure to follow, follow me on Twitter at 247Hawkeye. I'm just trying to see um, K. Ron, uh, K. Ron uh, Crawford see why he chose Arkansas State. Um, I can't. Let's type his name. Up. Either way, guys, this is an excellent job the Iowa coaching staff did. I'm very, very excited about the future. Very excited. Um, I, I'm not going to spend too much more time in this video because I already made one uh, this morning. Um, so go and check that one out. That one's probably a little bit uh more well-rounded than this one is. But Iowa fans, the bottom line is you should be excited about the future. Um, as Iowa in the past three years has had the 35th, the 24th, and the 24th best recruiting classes. Very, very good. Um, gosh, I keep messing up here. And the last thing I want to say is that the DB, the defensive backs that Iowa landed um, are also guys who can play offense if they need to. So, um, you know, if it, if, if it doesn't really work out on defense, you know, uh, TJ Hall, uh, um, Cohen Estringer, and Orlando, uh, trader are all capable of playing offense or wide receiver. So uh, that is something to take into account. All right, let's one more time take a look at Iowa's historic uh, recruiting class, 26th by 247 Sports. I thought it was going to finish 
uh, 20, uh, excuse me, top 35. I did not expect top 30. Sixth in the Big Ten. Last year, they were seventh. They have an average rating of an 8809, whereas last year it was an 8777. Let's take a look at the top 26 here. Texas A&M has the top ranked class. And guess what, boys? The Iowa Hawkeyes ended up beating Iowa State in recruiting as I expected. And Iowa State has 21 commits. Iowa only has 17. They don't even have the full 20 commits that you uh, is the maximum to have when ranking the team recruiting class. So, um, not sure exactly what I was looking for there. That is huge. What an excellent day. What a good day to be an Iowa Hawkeye. I am very, very excited. By the way, it's it's only going to improve because Landon Van Kekerix isn't even compositely ranked yet. And he will be very, very soon. So everything has ended up good. This is a great day to be an Iowa Hawkeye. Iowa uh, has the 26th best recruiting class according to 24-7 sports and the 24th according to rivals. This is an excellent day. Let's put a bow on it. All right, guys, subscribe because subscribing makes you feel good. And if you don't feel I've earned it, at the very least, like, comment. You got the gist. I'll put the PayPal link in the description. If you want to donate to the show, uh, be sure to follow my Twitter at 247Hawkeye. And last but not least, DBAP, don't be a pussy with all facts or feelings here. Feelings don't matter. Love y'all. Go Hawks. Bye.